Well, it's finally uh, calm out, and uh, yesterday I got a uh, dump truck load of green compost to help complete the garden and the beds with. So we'll start with that. We're going to start with sassafy in front of the uh, chicken coops for a windbreak. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I move the chickens from one coop to the other. Very simple. That way I don't have to deal with the rooster. Get one piece of bread right here. And I, first thing I do is I open this door. It's got a little gap and I need to realign this coop here, but I'll throw the bread in. And I'll just go ahead and open the door. And they all go rolling right in. Except for the jerk is starting to figure it out, so he's up. Uh, Hanging back a little bit sometimes. That's basically how I move them from pimp to coop to coop without having to deal with the rooster. And later on, there'll be meat birds in here. So, we're going to go talk about how, where I'm going to plant the sassafy up against the. Uh... All right, so you can see I got the sass, uh, this little raised bed where I'm going to put the sassafy on in front of it. And it'll make a nice wind break for the uh, chickens. I'm just going to do it the simple way. I'm going to go about this far out. You notice I got it pretty deep because it's a root vegetable. I don't have to dig it through that hard ground and bend and everything. And just go ahead and put this first row in. This will provide shelter from the wind, from the heat, summertime, rain. It'll keep them from uh, getting sick and overheating. And uh, this stuff uh, really just blows everywhere, so you got to be quick about covering it. And I don't really care how it goes in there as long as it's in there. So it gets pretty big. It'll get about uh, taller than the front of the coop. Like I said, that will provide plenty of nice shade for these birds during summertime when it gets really hot here. See how it it's actually related to a dandelion, if you want to know the truth. Satsfi is. It was grown in Europe for hundreds of years, still is. As a root vegetable, it grows in very poor soil. It used to be a staple food in Europe way back when, before potatoes came into play. Time that up real quick. I know there'll be a few on the surface. wondering what I'm doing over here. What's he doing? You dig? Nope. You're digging days early, girls. Alright. Now, we got to figure out what I'm going to plant next in front of it. Well, the companion plant to Sassafi is Kohlrabi. So not only will I get a nice windbreak, I'm also going to get some kohlrabi out of this. Plus, at the end of the year, I can harvest the uh, sassafi and eat that too. Or let it go to seed and collect more seeds. We got more than this bag of them, so I don't know for a while anyhow. There's the flyer. What's up, big boy? Oh, he's got it. He's, he just crowed because he wanted me to hand feed him a tree on that. Let's take that out. Let's see. <laughs> All right, my ear, you jerk. Jesus. Now, if you've never seen karate seeds, they're not very big. They look like onion seeds. 
And I'm just going to spread these out as thinly as I can. Uh, I'll overseed a little bit and uh, if there's some, when I thin them out, I'll give them to the chickens or I'll just eat them myself. I always overseed stuff like this because you can always thin it out and eat the under 10 grains or give them to your chickens. Plus, if you have some bad seeds, only half them germinate, you're going to be sorry that you overseeded. <laughs> <laughs>